Hey everybody, it's your girl, the Empress Chanel, coming at you with a random reading. Dear my loving and most highest vibrational angels, ancestors, spirits, guides, totems, and guardians, I ask that you cover me in the whitest light from the highest vibration. As I deliver this message, I ask that you cover my collective in the whitest light from the highest vibration as they receive this transmission. Gratitude, gratitude, and gratitude. All right, so this is going to be a quick, 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 quick blackout reading real fast. Um, I feel like there's some message. We have one man's trash is another man's treasure. Long into a uh, strong intuition. I'm sorry. Word witch or warlock. So somebody knew that someone was going to be coming for them. Somebody was going to try to come for their um, or doing some sort of energy work towards someone's solar plexus chakra or their third chakra. Um, they wanted you to be blocked in some sort of way where you would act out of anger or act out of your ego. You would be very manic. You would be very indecisive. Um, um, these are people who they, they themselves have a blockage in their third chakra. Um, they have some sort of control issues or um, and with this control issue comes some sort of victim complex when they don't get what they want. They pretend to be uh, the one that something is happening to them when they themselves are turning to or being a word witch or warlock or a.k.a. talking shit is basically what a word witch or warlock is. You know, our tongue is very strong. Um, basically, they called you some sort of like alley whore trash whatever you was okay that, that that's basically what they was trying to get people to see but all people can see when they look at you is your confidence how high your self-esteem is um how balanced you are, how in control of yourself in your life you are, um, and that you can't be taken advantage of because somebody was definitely trying to take advantage of you by trying to control the narrative of your life. Um, it, it's like something straight from a movie. It's like they, they went by a script. It's like they kept saying the same thing over and over and over again with this uh, word witch uh, thing that I'm getting. Okay. This person pretends to care really about what you have going on. They may ask you certain questions about your life or what you have. But they really don't give a fuck. They're just trying to get some ammo to try to twist up and use against you. This person uh, is a frenemy. So you may work around this person or you may speak to this person quite frequently. Okay. Um, I heard wearing yellow. This person may wear yellow. Is that today? Whoever this person is, they're an energy vampire. They suck up all the energy in the room. And the way that they do this, like I said, is by playing the victim here, okay? They will uh, give, say some sort of sob story about how such and so, their life is so blah, 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 blah. And this is happening to them and that is happening to them. But you don't see on the other side what's happening. Why is this person catching so such harsh karma especially you may have seen this during this mercury retrograde which ended yesterday but we are still in the shadow energy of mercury retrograde for the next like week or two okay um either way you're on your divine path your north node path let me get some of these uh read the room cards out here what do we got you're a star higher education Turn state. Ooh. So somebody learned something about someone ooh, that someone is or can be or will be some sort of star witness or some sort of case. Um, now, this could be a case in spiritual court because we know everything happens, uh, you know, as above, so below. Everything happens spiritually before it happens here physically. So um, you could be this sort of star witness or whatever it is in the spiritual realm. Um but something like that is, is about to manifest here or has been manifesting here in the third dimension. And some someone turns state, okay? They are someone is admitting guilt or going to admit guilt and testify as a witness for the state against uh whoever they were working with. Okay. This is a person who's a participant in a crime. They give evidence to the prosecution, especially um, in return for a reduced sentence. And I was picking up on that a few readings back. All right. This person was paid to do this. All right. All the, the every move that they make, every action that they take has to do with money. So this frenemy could even be someone who is in your family or someone who associates themselves with your family or as your family. Every move this person makes, it, it, it's some sort of money motive behind it. Because I'm hearing money is the motive. All right. Let me get one more of these and I'm going to grab some tarot cards. Read the room, please. 
All right, we got I'm addicted to you. You're my addiction. Libra, Virgo. Somebody could be addicted to watching someone, a Libra or Virgo or someone who has that in their charts um, could be involved. Um, someone is under some sort of like a uh, gag order or something. It's almost like this person comes around you, like I said, tries to pick up on whatever information they have for you. But when they're being like a, it's almost like they're supposed to be, I don't know, helping to gather some sort of information that they could turn against you or use against you. But they really like you, you make a lot of right choices or pretty much all your choices are the right way. Like you are going down your divine path and there's nothing that they can really say. A lot of the things that they have been saying have been lies or they are like twist up something that you're doing to make it sound um, like people should be scared of you or scared of what you're doing or like you are uh, unknowledgeable about what you're doing, what you have going on. Um, also, somebody tried to say that you were doing something dark or bad um, by using your intuition. OK, um, this could be one of the things or, or ways that people try to turn uh, people against you. Um or like tarnish your name and things like that. This person is keeping a big secret about a shop. I don't know if somebody um, sells something. Somebody, yeah, whoa. I got the Six of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords. That's Gemini Taurus energy. So somebody, somebody definitely got paid. The Six of Pentacles is somebody that's on somebody's payroll. The Knight of Swords is like gathering, is getting information. It's like run, tell that energy. Okay. The Knight of Swords is also like fighting words. Okay. So somebody is, like I said, with this solar plexus chakra, the third chakra, somebody is actively or whatever, trying to uh, block your third chakra, your solar plexus chakra. They're trying to make you be angry. They're trying to say things that would basically would have maybe they thought would have pissed you off or maybe it would have pissed you off in the past and you would have confronted somebody and did this, this and that. But now you're in the energy of like, okay, say what you're going to say because the truth always trumps any lie. Like you don't have to go out here and go on a, a truth tour Telling your truth to everybody and anybody who will hear it. Because that's what this person who's lying to everybody is doing. They're going on a lying tour. They about to be trying to go on an apology tour in a minute. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know. And you know, people are very afraid of the things that they don't know. We have the lovers here in reverse. Um, that's either a breakup. Um, that could also be a, a sibling, like I said, or someone who you call sis or bro. Somebody who is of the same sex where you guys just are completely going your separate that's also gemini energy again so that could be a low vibrational gemini or someone who just does not make the right decisions the lover's card is about making the right choice making a healthy choice is governed by archangel Raphael. so either somebody um either is blocking out or refusing to heal something um within themselves which is causing them to you know want to control and be controlling over everybody else or have some sort of control issues somebody could also be being controlled by um religion okay but whoever this is they're watching you um there's a divine masculine that's either being watched or that is watching someone uh they it's like your name was spoken rooms that in front of people that you would have never ever encountered had this hater person group whatever it is that they am part of or got paid to do whatever if if they had never spoke your name or tried to make up stuff on you it wouldn't have got nobody looking at you it wouldn't have got nobody investigating you this person was 100 percent sure that you was doing something illegal or that you would snap and they will be able to force a certain narrative in your life okay we have judgment here so you definitely make the right judgment calls Eight of Wands. That's a whole lot of talking, but that's also, I heard uh, 
um, airplane or flying. We have hermit here. So that's Virgo energy and the Knight of Pentacles, also Virgo energy. So heavy on the Virgo and Gemini in this reading, which actually this Eight of Wands moving forward, some sort of judgment was made when Mercury stationed direct. Because when Mercury stationed direct, that energy, everything that was held up with this Knight of Pentacles and the hermit, and it gave you time to learn and think and, and gain wisdom on a situation or about every single person or every single intricate detail of a situation. And now with Mercury stationing direct, you are able to like, it's almost like you're in a, a plane where the G-force is just going, you know what I'm saying? So everything is going to be moving forward now. Um, wow, we got a lot of major arcana out here. This is the end of some sort of smear campaign, some sort of like ganging up on you energy. Now you're going to be in the energy. Somebody is going to offer you something where you're going to be able to collaborate um, with them. Like I said, this could be this um, star witness thing that I was getting. And now that's coming here to the 3D. So congratulations. Okay. I, I just saw the four cups. So this is something that has been going on in the, in the background anyway. So, Oh, and I cut the deck on the star. There's a lot of major arcana out here. We have the star, the lovers, the hierophant, the hermit, and temperance and judgment. So there's definitely God, Allah, Buddha, whatever you want to call it, is the divine spirit source. The great I am is definitely making some moves on your behalf. All right. There was something that was being built or constructed on your behalf in the background. It's something that was specifically meant for you. I, I heard like expert witness. So you may even become some sort of expert witness in some sort of like major trial or something like that. Something that you may not have ever done before, but now you have to speak on it because you do have the expertise. You have been building up knowledge and someone recognized that and wants to showcase your talent. They want to speak with you. They want to have some sort of heart to heart. This could be in reference to someone who's already locked up or um, imprisoned and, um, they 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 see you know that you are self sufficient independent somebody tried to say that you were not um but you're definitely this is this is going to be like almost like a you're going to meet your star seed family doing something like this even if you have no clue about things that go on in the justice system and things like that your guides are going to be with you they're going to move you forward um in the right direction all you have to do is you know stay on the right vibration if nobody told y'all today i'm going to tell you i love you Peace.